I'm Jamie Lee with BirdTricks.com and I'm a professional parrot trainer who loves what I do. My goal with these videos is to answer any and all questions parrot owners have about their beloved feathered kids. Ask away and I'll try to keep up. See a bird in my videos you want to see more of? Let me know and I'll feature that flock member even more. So I got asked um, by somebody what my opinion is on getting an umbrella cockatoo versus an African Grey and they asked for me to feature Cressy or Crash, our military macaw. So, I'm going to feature both of them and see what their opinion is on the subject. We are here in Jackson, Mississippi. So, here we go. Here are the aviaries. Hey, Cressy! Cressy, someone wants to know if they should get one of you or if they should get a Linuus. A Linuus is an umbrella cockatoo. What do you think? Are you trying to give me your opinion too, Gregor? Because Bandeo, they didn't ask to see you. Nope, sorry. Gotta go feature Crash. Who is hanging. How's it going, Crash? Someone asked to see you again. Can you believe that? They want to see you. You believe it? All right, I'm gonna go answer the question. All right, so whether I think you should get an umbrella cockatoo, <laughs> which by the way, just so everybody knows, I will never recommend anyone to ever get an umbrella cockatoo, ever, um, or an African gray, <laughs> which I normally won't recommend either. And Dave's looking at me through, my, through the window. Thank you, Dave. Has to distract no matter what. Um, I would recommend neither. I don't think that they can tolerate the loudness of motorcycle. Um, I don't think that they're very, nah, I don't know what the quite the word is, but I would not recommend them um, to people as birds because greys are naturally really phobic. They take a lot of work. People always want them because they can talk, but, and Cressy, she's like a, fan, she's a fantastic bird, but I just don't think that they are meant for most households. Um, I think that there's smaller birds that are better for people like and more manageable, um, such as Conyers and Budgies. Budgies are my favorite. I think that if you get a Budgie and you train it to its full potential, you'll be so shocked. And um, if you're willing to do that with a Budgie, then you should move up if you want to still. Um, but yeah, I really like to see people's efforts put in towards like a smaller bird first so that they know that they can handle um, the maintenance of the larger birds. An umbrella cockatoo is just so not the right bird. Um, I would recommend going to mytoos.com and listening to them scream because most people can't handle that. They are supposed to be like super, super cuddly and all the ones I've met are very, very cuddly, but you can get a dog or a cat that's cuddly and not have to deal with the mental restraints of an umbrella cockatoo. I'm just so, I do not believe umbrella cockatoo should be kept as pets at all by any means, like literally. And I know that they thrive in some homes and stuff, but those birds, like, I do not recommend them to anybody. That's just how it is for me. Um, so if you're gonna pick between the two, I would say go for the African Grey, but just be really prepared and um, get a training course, be prepared to let it, like, flight train it, trick train it, um, everything, just training to the full potential, um, teach it to speak obviously, which will probably catch on naturally, um, just that kind of thing so that you're training the bird to its full potential so it's not bored, um, because that's the biggest, biggest deal for me, so that would be my opinion on that, sorry to go off on my rant with umbrella cockatoos, but most of you that know me, like, know how I feel about those birds, so, yeah.